This Father's Day, spoil your dad with a new grill. We're talking to Jonathan Kelly. He is owner of Fireplace and Barbecue Center. Welcome. So great to have you on the show. Thanks for having me. I'm learning a lot when it comes to grills. And uh, we're talking stainless uh, steel, which is a, a good option to go with, right? Maybe lasts a little longer. Yeah, well, stainless steel is like an alloy, so it's available in different formulas. So mm -hmm. 304 grade stainless steel would be the non-magnetic. Okay. So if I take these magnets and stick to it, it's not sticking to these oh. because it's made out of 304 grade stainless steel, which we oftentimes tell people it's like 24 karat gold for stainless steel. Okay. It's going to be more expensive than your other stainless steel and you really can't tell the difference until you take a magnet to it, but it's the stainless steel that's going to uh, last forever. Last forever. Forever. I yeah. like it. So yep. use the magnet on this because I know what. So this looks this stainless steel to you as well. And this is another grill we sell as well. You know, kind of an entry level one around mm -hmm. $400. Just, you know, good, a good grill that'll last you 15 years, mm -hmm. but it won't last forever. But it's, they use stainless steel. See how that, it looks okay. the same to me, but it's not. It. Now these guys, they don't actually use, they don't make the grill out of stainless steel. They're using aluminum. Okay. And then they're just dressing it with stainless steel, but there's no need to use high expensive stainless steel here okay. just for effect. Whereas this manufacturer over here, they really need to use the high stainless steel because that's what they're mm -hmm. actually constructing the whole mm -hmm. frame out of. So we're, we were chatting a lot about outdoor kitchens. You yep. know, I came from Florida where that's a, a thing out there, entertaining outdoors, but you said people do a lot of here as well, investing a lot of money into that outdoor st uh, space. Would this be more of an option if somebody's looking to kind of invest in an yeah. outdoor cooking space? Yeah, and, and kind of one of the reasons we're here today is in the last month or two, we've seen like, I, I can think of six or seven clients where they put a, like a stainless steel grill mm -hmm. outdoors like six years ago, and it's completely fallen apart on the inside. No. And now they come to us and we're trying to figure out how to fabricate good stainless steel locally yeah, to fit in there to make it work. So we're like rebuilding their whole island that they did only six or seven years ago. They just would have done it right from the beginning. You taken a magnet. <laughs> All you said, needed was magnet. Yes or no? <laughs> no, I don't want that. This yeah. isn't necessarily a bad option, though. So if you're maybe in a, a rental or you just have a small space that you're trying yeah. to dress up, this will still get the job done. Very much so, because this is actually made out of cast aluminum. So this is all aluminum down here, and that's why you'll get 15 years out of it. Uh, but after 15 years, ah, it served its purpose. But they're anywhere from 400 to 1,000 bucks. Okay. But 15 years, I mean, and it long cooks time. really good as well on there. But that's going to last you a long time as well. That's what I was going to ask. So is there a difference in the way that they cook? They're gas grills, right? Is that I, I tell you, we get a lot of people that'll have like maybe one of our Broil Kings here, mm -hmm. Canadian made grill mm -hmm. uh, at a lake home or something. And they'll say, man, that thing cooks just as good as my high dollar expensive stainless steel grill. And they'll say, why did I pay so much more for that one versus this uh -huh. one? And we said, they cook the same. No one said that. This one's gonna last 15 years. This will last forever. But in terms of performance, Broil King cooks as good as some of the yeah. high end $8,000 yeah. grills out there. So the difference is not necessarily in the taste, but just the value of how long it's gonna last. That too, and the engineering, I mean, there's some really good guys no one would ever think to look at this little bend in this leg mm -hmm. right here but that allows a rack to get in the back and it doesn't interfere with your cooking mm -hmm. area but Burl King's been making these grills we've carried them for over 20 years now I mean mm -hmm. this is like version 15 yeah there's just a lot of little tweaks they're a really good company that tweaks their grill and they get it just right well you guys truly are the grill masters you're in Overland Park if somebody wants to learn more about the grills you have a showroom right people we can do. come in kind of pick your brain about the whole grilling uh, pick your brain about the whole grilling process, process. and right. learn the difference and yep. maybe what value and what kind of style of grill Fits and what best. works best for them. And what yeah. works best for them. Yep. Where, tell people where you're located so, as we close. Yeah, so we're at 105th and Metcalf, one block uh, west of Metcalf on 105th Street. So do a little shopping. You still have time to get in there if you're looking to maybe give dad a new grill this Father's Day. So certainly check them out, that information on your screen. It was so great to have you on. Thank you Thank so, you much, so much, Jonathan. My pleasure. Yep. And be sure to head to our website for more.